at the end of the day, we all end up in the same place. No matter what colour, race, religion, time don't discriminate. It's kind of crazy you can find uh, inspiration in some of the darkest places. And this is where this life ends and the song Dust and Bones begins. I went and seen a good old friend of mine. He got a spot on the hill, best money could buy. Find silk pillow underneath his skin. Stones and roses covered his bed. He left a pile of diamonds, but not many friends. So I was at this funeral and there was this beautiful mahogany box with gold leaf scroll work and burnished handles and I'm thinking, what a waste of money, you know, when I go lower me down in a cardboard box. So I had this idea straight away, dust and bones, I, I needed your magic to finish it off. You were still over there in Australia. I mean, I'm not a fan of writing by Skype with the three second delay and all that stuff, but man, when you laid that title on me, I'm like, we yeah, gotta do it. It's great songs. song, man. Oh, 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 dust. Dust and Bones, I love the title right from the start. Yeah, it, it felt like truth, you know, it encompasses all of life. Dust and Bones, Stones and Roses. Yeah, out of beauty decays as spiritual beauty grows and blossoms. The Bible tells us not to store up treasures here on earth that just rot and rust and decay. Good deeds done with a good heart are a good thing to leave behind. We can leave spiritual treasures behind for other people. We can leave so much more behind than uh, a trust fund or a house, a yard, uh, an insurance policy by just touching people's lives. In the end, what will they matter? It's simple. When you do good and put others first, the rewards are far greater than a pile of diamonds. One good deed will live on forever while material things will eventually turn to dust. Bill was the perfect guy to write this song with because he's gritty and edgy like I am and I feel this song needed it and I, you know, I had a title and I had a, 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 almost a whole chorus but I just, I knew Bill would take this to a place where I couldn't and um, I just love writing with him because he's a genius. I love writing with Rick up. We both have different philosophies but similar attacks to lyric writing and uh, sort of like at opposite ends uh, of the spectrum but in the middle we meet and usually hit on something that's meaningful and a little gritty and a little picturesque. Um, I wanted to write it because people do waste their time gathering up all these material possessions and, and at the end you, you can't take it with you. Okay. The, the lyrics got to have some integrity to it and mean something, it can't be fluff. Yeah. We don't write fluff. No fluff. <laughs> no fluff here. <laughs> Save those tears for when I leave